Hey YouTube! Okay, so it has been forever since I've done a video. Um, excuse the messy room. Um, having time to clean is few and far between these days. Um, the last update that I did was on um, my Fuzzy Buns diapers having problems. Um, and I don't have time to do videos, you guys. I have so many videos that I need to get done and time is just not there. I just don't have the time, unfortunately. However, I did get my um, replacement fuzzy buns in the mail today, and I have a question. <laughs> did fuzzy buns completely change the way that they manufacture their diapers? Um, because they're different. They're very different than the others that I've had. Um, this is one of my replacement diapers, and it looks the same, right? It looks, looks the same everywhere, but if you're a cloth diaper fanatic like I am, you notice little tiny changes that most people wouldn't notice. This material right here is way different. This is not the material that um, was on the diapers before. It's not nearly as fuzzy. It's not as soft. Um, it seems cheaper. I hate to say that but because I love fuzzy buns. but. It seems way, way cheaper than the other fabric that they were using, and I don't know what the deal with that is. Even the inserts, this is the insert, and I, you guys can't tell here. I know you guys can't tell just from looking at it, but way, way different. This is not the same micro terry material that they've been putting in fuzzy Mommy, buns. So, what, baby? Done. No, honey. So, I'm a little disappointed by these diapers. I'm not... I want to see stuff to fall. Okay. If he scratches you again, though, don't come crying to me, because I told you. The back is different. I don't know, you guys. They're, they're different diapers. They're not the same as they were. I feel like the fuzzy... The, goodness, I can't even talk. <laughs> I feel like the other fuzzy buns that I have, the ones that I ordered this past October, I feel like those are way higher quality than these replacements that I got. I don't know, have, has anyone else noticed this or is it just me? These are not, these are not the same as my others. It's different. I don't even know how to explain it because it looks like almost the same material but it's not as soft if that makes any sense at all. I don't know, I haven't compared the fabrics on the label yet but they're different so I hope they hold up as good. Um, but anyway, I got three... I got three pink fuzzy buns and I got two white fuzzy buns. Uh, um, the five that I had messed up were tutti frutti. They were all the color tutti frutti. So when I sent them in to get replaced, I requested that they did, do not send me any more of the tutti frutti because to have five of the same color messed up, to me that's a problem with that color. So trying to avoid that again and I really like the white diapers. Um, what, Zoe? I want this again. What? I want this again. You ripped it. Quit ripping your dress, Zoe. We just bought this. Cut it. Well, my gracious me. Anyways, I just bought this dress for her at Walmart, and it was discounted. Like, really, really discounted. Usually these things are like 30 bucks, and I got it for $14. But this middle layer... I don't, you guys can't even see, but this middle layer <laughs> right here is falling apart. So maybe I didn't even get my money's worth paying 14 bucks for it. Go play. I'll fix it later, okay? Okay. Um, anyways, I really like the white fuzzy buns, especially for a girl. I have so many little, like, white outfits that I like to put her in. And if I have, like, a bright green diaper or an orange diaper, um, you can see it through the white, um, the white outfit and it just doesn't look good so it's nice I think I have four um, white diapers now I have two white dinkle doos and two three white fuzzy buns I have five um, but I have enough white diapers now that if she's wearing a white outfit um, I can change her multiple times <laughs> and have the right color diaper so that's nice and I got some more gender specific colors because she only has one pink fuzzy bun so I figured we needed some more pink ones, but I don't know. I don't know about this material, you guys. <laughs> I'm a little iffy about it. I don't I don't know what they did to these diapers. They're very, very different. Um, anyways, um, I also wanted to give you guys a general life 
update. Oh, and they sent me these too. Sorry. I'm like so jumping around to different topics. They sent me um, 12 um, cloth wipes as well. Complimentary. Um, although I paid 25 bucks for shipping and handling. So technically I paid for these. And I didn't even get to pick what I got for my 25 bucks. So whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, life update. Um, things are so crazy. So, so crazy. Um, I wanted to ask you guys to please pray for me. I have a job that I am praying that I get. Um, I've been not so much offered the job, I don't know, because I haven't actually had the interview yet. Um, but I have a local photography company interested in hiring me. Um, do you get your McDonald's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which is just absolutely awesome. The pay is absolutely wonderful <laughs> like really good pay um, normally to have this job they require that you have a photography degree like you have to have your bachelor's in fine arts or whatever um, with a with it geared towards photography for them to even consider hiring you and um, I went out on a whim after Piper was born I was like you know what whatever I'll just send them some of my pictures they're probably not going to be interested um, but to my surprise the um, director of our area emailed me back and he said, I love your pictures. We're very interested in hiring you. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it. Um, but the pay is definitely financially beneficial for us. So if I get this job, I will be working three, three days a week, three or four days a week, um, including one weekend a month. Um, which means that three days a week, Monday through Friday, both girls would have to be in daycare. Uh, yeah, I did not ever want to do daycare. Um, with Zoe, I'm not, I'm not worried about her at all. She's going to do awesome in daycare, and she's going to thrive in daycare, and she's super excited to go. Um, but I didn't want to leave Piper in daycare because she's so little. She's just so tiny, and I just I feel awful having to leave her in daycare. But it is financially beneficial. We can I with my paycheck alone, I would be able to put both girls in daycare three full days a week, and then still have a significant amount left over um, that would be added onto my husband's income. So definitely financially beneficial. Um, plus it pays for her daycare, which she'd be going anyway, regardless whether I have a job or not. And it pays for, um, what are you doing? Put that back. Uh -uh, you're going to spill. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it, Zoe. You're going to spill. Don't you do it. You keep the straw in there. She likes to take the straw out of her cup and like try to drink through the little hole on the top of it. And it spills every single time. And I have coke or whatever she has all over the floor anyways <laughs> um but it would definitely be a an awesome awesome job and it's pictures like I'd be taking pictures all day long um I would work at my um my local hospital taking pictures of newborns like so that's just just awesome to me it's like my dream job um when I was in the hospital with um having Piper they came in and did um Piper's hospital portraits and I was like oh wow I didn't know that the hospital even hired people to come in and take portraits or whatever, but the company that they have, that the hospital contracts out to, um, that's the company that's interested in hiring me. So I would be working at the hospital three days a week, um, taking pictures of babies. So that would be just so much fun to me. Um, mm. so just pray that I get it. I really am hoping that I get it. Um, I've been researching daycares. We went to probably five or six daycares. Uh, uh don't touch baby. We went to probably five or six daycares, and all of them within our price range were filthy. And I don't mean filthy like, oh, they're kids, there's a little bit of dirt on the floor. No, I mean the first place we went to, um, we went to go see the, um, we went to go see the infant room, and the lady, I was standing there watching as the director was explaining, you know, how they do things, um, and this lady, one of the teachers, changed a diaper threw the diaper away, all that stuff, put the baby back down, and then went back to feeding another baby that was in the high chair. Did not wash her hands, was not wearing gloves of any kind. Um, I looked over in the mattresses and all the cribs that they had in there. There was dried baby puke in the cribs. Um, it was it was really disgusting. Not to mention the room itself was probably no bigger than Piper's bedroom. And they had probably eight plus babies in there. And I just I was like, no way. 
no way, I will not leave my kid here. Um, I didn't want to leave either one of them there. But it was such an awesome price, and I was like, well, I guess that's why they're so cheap. Um, I don't know. But um, we found another place that's really close by to our house. It's a, quite a bit more expensive than the other places we looked at, but still within our price range. So it, it's awesome. We love this daycare. It's not like super, super fancy. It's a family-owned daycare, um, but they're nice. All the kids were nice. It was clean. Um, the teachers were super helpful and they explained everything to me and I can honestly say that I would feel 100% at ease leaving both of my children there all day and I wouldn't worry about it. Plus, the infant room, I talked to the teachers in the infant room and they are totally willing to cloth diaper my child, um, provided that I bring in um, the supplies that need to be brought in for cloth diapering so that's exciting and they were actually really excited about it they didn't know cloth diapers I showed them um, a fuzzy buns a lot like this one this one right here and they were shocked they had no idea they they said they've never seen another mother that cloth diapers um, and they said it was awesome and they were really hoping that I chose that daycare so they could try out cloth diapering um, which we definitely are choosing that daycare um, so daycare is taken care of um, for both girls if I get this job I don't know I'm really nervous I have not worked in over over three and a half years since before Zoe, since before I was pregnant with Zoe. Um, what? I don't even think she knows what she's saying. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on. I've been crazy busy um, with my photography stuff. Um, I'm still definitely keeping my own business just because I might get this job doesn't mean that um, I'm not going to do my business. But um Definitely awesome to have that extra income. Plus, Zoe, would you quit? Oh my gracious. Do you need to go to your room? No. Then quit. You need to behave. It is so bedtime for her. Um, it is not bedtime. <laughs> it is bedtime. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm arguing with a three-year-old. Okay, we're done. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyways, that's what's been going on. Crazy busy with my job, trying or potential job, <laughs> trying to get um, school underway. Um, just everything. And I'm probably going to be doing another video shortly if I send both girls to daycare um, about advice on sending your kids to daycare because I say it's okay now, but I know the first day that I drop them off, I'm going to probably have a nervous breakdown having to leave my children all day long because I've been a stay-at-home mom all this time um, and I guess it's not that bad I would still be a stay-at-home mom the other four days of the week so you know three days a week really in retrospective is not that big of a deal um, and I would still have time to go to school and do all of that stuff so you're okay you're so dramatic Ow. Zoe it's fine Okay, well, I need to put a cranky little girl to bed and do all my normal stuff. You guys, my house is a mess. How do you guys with multiple kids find time to clean? <laughs> um, it hasn't happened yet, but if at some point both of my kids are actually sleeping at the same time for more than an hour, um, I might could actually get some stuff done. But as it is right now, that doesn't happen except at night. And at night, I'm sleeping. So... Crazy, crazy stuff going on. But uh, that's about it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I know this was a really rambly update. Not really about anything specific. Um, but yeah. I'm going to do more videos. I swear I'm going to get back into YouTube. I've just been t on kind of a hiatus lately. Not feeling like doing videos. I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.